I'll be out drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, go. Welcome to Finals 1 here at the Vintage Tour Greenwood. And everything is the same as you've seen before. The first 15 seconds are completely autonomous. These program robots are moving pre-programmed method. 7041 Red Alert already sitting pretty on top of their charge station. 1501 Team Thrust looking to meet them. 3146 Purple Precision scoring lots of points for their Alliance during that autonomous period. All robots are on the move. Cubes seem to be the thing of choice here for their pre-placed items. They're making use of those, already eliminating them from the face of the field. They're going to soon need to head over to their loading area to pick up additional game pieces from their human players. 1555, that's Cryofrost hanging out in the center of the field, making their way over to their community station, depositing items behind their community area so their team members can more quickly pick up pieces and score them in their grid. All the point values are the same. Two points for the bottom row, three for the center, and five for the height row. They can still gain additional points from Link's, though. Currently one for each team at the moment, where Link gets three horizontal game pieces, but you probably already know that. They can just get five points for each of those Link's made, and they'll continue to pick and place games throughout the match remaining. 3176, Purple Precision placing a cone on the top of their grid area. Their alliance partner, 1741, uh, matching them, scoring lots of points to their alliance as they place not only high pieces, but also finish some Link's. The Red Alliance, although slipping behind only by 10 points, that's a small margin in this game that can easily be made up in the end game, which will occur 30 seconds from now. 1501 Team Thrust making their way across the field, navigating swiftly around all their opponents and their teammates to make their way over to their human player station, making use of those bright yellow lights to align themselves for easy procurement of those pieces. 39-47, the last Crusader is causing lots of havoc throughout the center of the field. You have to keep an eye on them to make sure they don't maintain long contact for too long. There does seem to be some sort of motor sitting in the blue loading area. They'll have to keep an eye on that piece of game. As we move into the end game here, robots will make their way towards their charge station, trying to get final points for their alliance. The score is still 36 to 100. That's a small margin for end game if they can get all of their robots balanced. The blue alliance currently on their way to get two balanced. The red alliance usually attempting to get three. We'll have to see what they do with their time remaining. It was quick and easy for the red alliance. The blue alliance has a few seconds remaining to fix it. They're just going to be shy. That was it for your finals match one here at the Venn District Greenwood event. And here are your scores for our first finals match. Your winners are the Red Alliance. Remember, finals are best two out of three. So we'll be back here just a minute to see who's going to possibly take home. They have another match to play. We'll see them in just a few moments. Currently, your Red Alliance two is in favor. But we'll have to see in our next finals match.